today. We wrote algorithms. We created moving displays. We lit them in amazing ways. We used the crumble. I think there is something almost magical about computer programming and the great feature of the Crumble software and the Crumble hardware is it's very, very accessible. They're familiar with the programming language and the hardware is very easy to connect. So we can have success in a very short space of time. Then they can build on that success to make more exciting projects. We're using a Crumble board which has all of the system that we need and we're using laptops to program all of the sparkles and motors. It's very easy to use. My favourite thing about Crumble is it's definitely the lights and how you can change all the colours. You can have it flashing, mixed colours. You can have as many lights as you like really. My favourite thing is doing the algorithms because you can change it to do different colours and you can make the motors spin faster. We can make it reverse, we can make it go forward. With Scratch you're programming a thing on the computer. With this, whatever you program it to do, it will do in real life. Instead of actually seeing it on a computer, you see it come real in reality. It's like a card and then you have to clip um, crocodile clips onto it to make these lights flash and then you plug this clip into your computer and then you can control the lights and things. We've just tried to get this one working but it hasn't so we're going to try and do that again. That light did it on that side so I changed it around so now it's working. They are learning to work together collaboratively, they have to think for themselves, we're not just telling them things so they learn a lot better because they're finding everything out for themselves instead of just them telling them the answers. They're not going to get it right first time round every single time so you know we'd like to think that they've been told that so many times that with something like this they might start to realise it but no I'm just later on in life as well. Um, actually, you can't get everything right first time around, you just need to keep going with things. If that doesn't work, we're going to do a programme on here and then see if that'll give it a boost. We did make some mistakes at first, but we put them to right and it's worked out. It's ended up really good. We have a black background, which is space, and what we've done is we've made a rocket and we've stuck the face of Tim Peake through the window of the rocket. And we've built a circuit so the rocket moves back and forth and it kind of looks like Tim Peake smiling at you through the window. We made a hole in the card and then put the bit that spins on the motor through that and then we're sticking a rocket on it so then the rocket's going through space when it's spinning on it. It really makes it a lot more come to life and it gives them a purpose of doing it instead of just trying to move a little cat or do something around a the screen they're really doing something properly and by relating it to astronauts and to real life that really makes them feel it's worthwhile what they're doing and it makes them really excited. It's really fun and really interesting as well. It's just been really fun and working with my partner and um, with us exchanging different ideas. It's sort of like solving a puzzle, so it's nice to work out the puzzle and solve it. It's different to like what we usually do. Like We usually just learn about circuits and then just learn about that, but then when they're together it's more fun. We just use the challenges every day and it's good for us because we can always learn. And that's what I like about doing my job, there's always something new to learn and always something else that you can embrace. I think the great thing about Crumble is it really suits a wide variety of people and there's a lot of self-confessed techno folks out there who've used it and are surprised how easy it is to get going and how quickly they can have some great results. So I'd say give it a go, um, you may be surprised what you can do with it. I would say get it into school because the children enjoy it, the children learn from it and it's a great fun way to learn.